morning everybody it's Dana welcome back to my channel today we are I'm taking a break from my Christmas journal <clears throat> I just I get like that sometimes sometimes when I've worked on a project for for a while um, I just get a little tired of it and I just need to take a break from it until I'm ready to finish it and you know that's it's usually not too long um, you know, I'll, I'll have it finished this week, but um, I have this idea as I was going to sleep <clears throat> the other night, uh, and I've made lots of envelopes and um, things like that with a uh, book, uh, napkin over book page, and I just bought a, a kit from Artie Mays. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's these beautiful watercolor flowers. It's kind of like springtimey. And I thought that a, a napkin over book page cover would be super pretty for it. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so I just have my 9 by 12 envelope that I've glued on the inside to make it nice and flat. And I've glued the flap shut. I'm going to turn it over. Um, I like to keep the, the flap here on the inside of the journal. Um, and I'm just going to be using matte Mod Podge. And what I've done to prepare my book pages, ooh, that's all yucky. Let's pick that off. Ugh. Okay. Um, so what I've done is um, just tore some pages out of a book. Um, I, th I used my Little Women book. Um, and I've torn some pages out. And I used my tear ruler um, to tear around the edges of the script. Um, so taking off all of this like white so that all you see is text. So I've used my tear ruler to do that and I'm ready to just start gluing this down. So what I'm going to do, this is almost gone. I just got a new bottle, um, at Hobby Lobby, but I just want to finish up the rest of this one first. So I've just laid some wax paper down and I'm just putting Mod Podge onto the envelope and just gluing. I'm going to put it over the edge, leaving about an inch or so over the edge so that we can fold it over. So we'll just press that down. And then I just take my next one and just gonna glue it down. So I'm just gonna put this kind of right over this one, leaving an edge. And then We'll get the next spot going. And I'm gonna overlap them a little bit. That looks good. I love the napkin over book page look and it's one of my favorite things. And so I thought how beautiful it would be to do a cover um, especially with kind of like a springtimey looking journal because I've got a lot of napkins that are um, have flowers and stuff on them and so I just thought this would be really pretty I'm very excited to see how it's gonna turn out so the next one here and I'm not getting exactly I'm just kind of um, you know, staggering them some so they're not super even. I don't think that you're going to really be able to tell all that much once the napkin's over them, but just in case. And I've got wax paper underneath so that when I go to peel it off, it's not going to stick because we'll glue those parts over onto the other side that's hanging off the edge. <clears throat> We'll just keep on with this. I I dropped my daughter off this morning. Um, 
she starts high school tomorrow. She's my youngest child. So now my youngest child is starting high school. I can't believe it. And so I dropped her off this morning for freshman orientation at her high school. And uh, it was bittersweet. I've homeschooled all my kids. And uh, she's been homeschooled her whole life. And um, so it was kind of a tough decision to send her to high school. But she's the youngest. And all her older siblings... Um, you know, they kind of had each other when we were homeschooling and, um, and so, you know, we did school together and, you know, went on field trips and all those kinds of things. And, you know, she doesn't have that. Um, all her older siblings are adults and, um, some of them are on their way out of the house and going to be moving out on their own and, um, others have full-time jobs and work all day and you know she's lonely it's she's by herself and um, looks like I'm short a few pieces I do have this one that's gonna be able to fit here so let me put that down but I think the other one's a little too thin and I want to make sure that I've got enough going over the edge so let me get this one down and then we'll see what we need See, that one will cover that part. But this is what I have, and I've got just enough to cover. I don't have enough to go over the edge. So maybe... I'll just cut a new piece. I'll just move this over. Just take my tear ruler and tear off the edges real quick. So anyway, I was saying that she's, you know, kind of on her own and by herself and, and that's just, it's no fun to do school like that. And, um, you know, her oldest sister is, who she's very close with, is moving out in February. And, she, you know, that it's really tough for her um, they're very close, and um, she's very sad about it. And, um, you know, she, I thought that it would be best for her to just, you know, go to school. And um, that way she has other things and other things she's doing that are kind of, you know, helping with that transition. Sometimes when we have a huge transition in our life, it really helps to... Um, have something else to focus on and so I thought school would be kind of a good distraction from some of the things that are happening at home that you know are making her sad so um, so she's very excited so I dropped her off for her orientation this morning and she had her backpack and she's very excited and I'm excited for her but it's really kind of the end of an era in my life. I've spent the last 20 years homeschooling my kids. And um, so it's, it was it was very bittersweet. I'm going to put another piece of wax paper down here because there is a lot of glue around here. And I don't want to ruin what I'm doing here. I'm just going to lay this right on top. Right on top of here. There we go. So I thought, since the house is all quiet and she's gone, and that I would just come on here and get this idea and video that I've been wanting to that I've been wanting to do here. So what I'm going to do is just oh, I probably should have cut my corners. Okay, let's do that really quick. I'm just going to miter the corners here so we can get a nice corner. Just cut those off really quick. There we go. Doesn't have to be neat, <laughs> as you can see. I just kind of slapped that on. <laughs> okay, so we're we'll just gonna bend these over and glue them down. Okay, 
This needs a little glue under here. Okay, just gonna make sure I'm in frame here the whole way. Nope, there we go. Sorry about that. Hope y'all didn't miss anything that I was doing. Okay, so I'm gonna do this other short side here. And these really don't take long to do. I mean, it's just literally laying glue down and pasting things on. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my bone folder and where we have this little pocket here, I'm just gonna pinch in on each of the corners. That way, we get a nice fold on the corner and we don't have a little pointy bit hanging out. I'm gonna do that for all four. And literally just taking that paper and just pinching it in a little, it does not take much to achieve that effect. So there we go. It's literally that fast and that little of a fold. So now let's get these down. Do these long edges. Pressing kind of that up against the side of the envelope. And here where there's space that you need glue, just put glue wherever you need it. Fingers are all sticky. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around here so I can reach this side easily. See, and I thought I didn't have enough Mod Podge to do this project, but I did, so which means I could have done it <laughs> the night I was thinking about it. <laughs> oh well. I was afraid to start it and um, not be able to finish it because to me, there's like nothing worse when you're excited to do a project and then um, you don't have enough of adhesive or you run out of something that you absolutely need to be able to do that project and then you can't finish it. There's nothing worse. Well, in crafting, there's nothing worse. Lots of worse things in life. Glue that down there, and there we go. Okay, so book page is on. Let's see how we look here. And there we go. That's gonna be nice. Okay. So that's what we have. Okay, so let's choose napkins. Get my big napkin folder out here. I see bag, I should say. Let's see what we have here. These are just scraps, so I know we won't use those, so I'll put those back in. But I know in here are full napkins. Now, I know that in Artie Mays' kit, she's got green, pink, blue papers in there. Oh, this might be pretty. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's really pretty. How wide is that? Not too wide. I would definitely have to use more than one and I don't think that I have more than one. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Oh, that one's so pretty. There's no purple in it, but I don't care. This is a contender. Okay, I might use this. Oh, look at oh, look at these. Okay, this one is so pretty. 
Oh gosh, with the birds and the flowers. Okay, so maybe this one. Oh my gosh, they're just all so pretty. I got this bundle on Etsy. Just, I can't even remember the seller, but just, I searched um, napkins deco for decoupaging, and um, I just, I bought a bundle, um, one that I could afford. This one's gorgeous, too. Um, hmm. Okay, so it's this, this, or this. This is more antique-ish, so I'm going to put this one aside, um, because there's nothing about her watercolor papers that are you know kind of um, aged and vintage they're nice and bright and colorful so it's going to be either this one or this one this is so pretty they're both so pretty I think I'm going to use this one and the only reason why is it doesn't have this green edge and we're going to be piecing it together so that green edge might make it a little bit difficult so we'll use the blue so let me put these aside and let's see how this is going to piece together. Um, I'm going to cut it definitely because this part would be upside down if I just laid it flat. So and I'm definitely going to be able to get that edge to fold over here. Might be a little difficult here. I might have to add some to the edge here but that I think we'll have room to do that once I cut it okay so let me cut this where are my good scissors let's see here they are napkins can be a little difficult to cut if your scissors aren't super sharp Okay, and I should have taken the tissue backing off first, but that's okay. I'm gonna grab my tape. What we do is we just make sure I'm in frame first. We just grab them with the tape. It looks like there's another layer. So let's grab that too. There we go. Get that separated from the back. So there's one part. Let's do the next one. There we go. All right. Okay, so definitely I'm gonna go this. You see, you can see how that book page comes through. Okay, I think this is gonna be barely, but I think that it's gonna go over the edge. Do I wanna? Hmm. See, because normally what I do is I cover with cardstock almost right up to the edge you can see in my Christmas journal there is not much of an edge there I don't leave very much of an edge so I need to look and see if I I'm just trying to make sure that it goes over the edge enough to where it's covered and I just don't think it's going to be. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of go like this. And then I'll add a piece over here. All right. So let's go. So we're just going to get some glue. I'm making a mess with this glue because it's right down there at the bottom. And we're going to go right about here. Ah! 
Sorry for that, my dogs. Sammy, hush. I can't stop, so I'm very sorry about them barking. Can't stop to make them stop because I'm in the middle of gluing. Okay, so we're gonna lay this right in here. Leaving that edge so I can add more paper. I'm just gonna press this down. What I, actually, what I'm gonna do is take kind of my tissue paper here. That was the other layers and I'm just gonna smooth it. Get some of the wrinkles out and I don't mind there being some wrinkles. I think it adds to the texture. Some people really don't like that, um, but I'm not one of them. Okay. So we'll come back to this and address this in a minute. I just want to lay this one part down here. I already didn't get the edge down all the way. Okay. Isn't that beautiful with the book page showing through? Oh, that's just gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. Let's get our other piece of napkin here because I need to trim it because I'm gonna need some of that extra. And what I think I'm gonna do is trim off this um, blue part here, the trim part, because I think that in trimming that off, I still have enough room going around the edge, but I think this blue trim is gonna look really pretty going down that back edge. Okay, so let's trim that off, because I think that's gonna be perfect. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm such a shaker. I actually watch a lot of crafting videos where we just have the people have the shakes. <laughs> See how pretty that's gonna look? I think that's just gonna look really pretty on that edge. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Yeah, that'll be nice. Okay, so, hey, you guys, stop it. Dogs are sitting there growling at each other and everything, causing drama, causing drama. Okay, so this is just gonna overlap just the very slightest, and I'm just gonna line it up with that other napkin right there, okay. So let's put that down. I can't wait to use this cover. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna put glue here, just overlapping the other napkin in just the very slightest way. go. All right. Put that over there. I'm going to line this up over here with this one. And then I'm just going to put it right over the edge there. Again, I'm just going to use my tissue paper to kind of smooth out, take out the wrinkles here a bit. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, now we just need to do our edge here. I think we'll just lay this in just like this because it really kind of goes, it looks like this edge is just continuing around, which is really pretty. Let me make sure I've got all my edges down here. I can see this one's not quite all the way down. I don't want there to be any bubbling. Oh no, be careful, careful. Get that straightened out, okay. All right, okay, last piece. And again, we're just gonna overlap in the very slightest. I've got those edges pretty well tacked down, so. All right, and then we're just gonna lay this in. 
and then that leaves print plenty to fold over to the other side. Another reason I want to, usually it's not really great to use tissue paper, but um, saran wrap works best if you ball up saran wrap to kind of wipe across because my fingers, see how gluey my fingers are? And I don't want them sticking to the napkin because they'll rip it. Okay, so that's what we have. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put, um, looks like I missed some spots. Hang on. Actually, I think I'm going to get a smaller paintbrush. To get these down. And that's okay. We are going to go over the whole thing with Mod Podge once it's dry. Okay. There we go. All right. Let me see how tacky I am here. I'm just going to be safe and put another layer of wax paper down. <laughs> I know it seems kind of overkill. I just, napkins are so delicate and they tear so easily and I just don't want to take any chances of ruining this pretty project. So, and I don't, you know, the wax paper that I use was a dollar at Dollar Tree. It's not, you know, some thing that I spent a lot of money on or anything. So it's okay. All right, I'm not gonna clip my corners. Um, just not gonna take the time to do that. It's a uh, it's napkin, it's not thick. It's gonna fold over just fine. Um, and you can manipulate it pretty easily. So just make sure I'm in frame so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm not, I'm sorry. All I did was put Mod Podge down on the paper. I keep pulling it close to me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's fold this in. Okay, there's that. I'll do the other long side. just pull this in get it laid down then I'll bring in my little piece of tissue that I've been using here all right now the short side I think I got my paintbrush on here and draped some glue there we go. And what I'm gonna do is take my smaller paintbrush and I'm just gonna tack these down to each other. These corners where I didn't miter it. That way I don't have two like floating pieces that I'm trying to work with. So we'll just get those tacked down to each other so I've got just one layer. There we go. All right. See, I already tore that. Now see what I mean about the napkin being so thin? I didn't have to fold that over at all. I didn't have to miter the corner at all. It just, they're so easy, they're so thin and delicate to work with that you can pretty much put it wherever you want it and it's gonna stay. All right, last side. Let's tack these. Make 
make sure that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna tack these down here together. And again, this is just because I didn't miter. There we go. Okay. All right, ready to go. Last side. So again, this is super easy. Anyone can do it. You just need some glue. It doesn't have to be Mod Podge. You can make your own Mod Podge. If all you have is um, uh, like white glue, like white school glue, like Elmer's or something like that, there are tons of people on YouTube that show you how to use, I do not know the ratio, so I'm not gonna even pretend to tell you what that is. Um, um, but there's plenty of people on YouTube, just search um, homemade Mod Podge, and they'll tell you the ratio. It's just white glue to water. So if you don't have Mod Podge, you can make your own. If you don't have napkins, but you have tissue paper, you can use that too. Okay, let me clean up here. Oh, no, I need to keep that. Well, not right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna put a layer of Mod Podge on it. So this is what we have. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just think that's so beautiful. I cannot wait to turn this into a journal. What do you guys think? Gorgeous, maybe not that side. It will be once I back it with paper. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a try. It's super easy. And as always, have a wonderful day and God bless.